This is the workshop that I run for uh, year one, uh, sometimes year two, sometimes even younger than, than year one. And uh, it's to make some playground equipment. Um, I have some photocopied sheets of the two characters we're going to try and cheer up. They're called Flip and Flop. And we're going to make some uh, equipment for them to play on in their park. Uh, we'll start off by making a swing. I've got a base here. Um, these days I now stick this down onto a piece of cardboard just to make it um, a bit more robust, especially when they're, when they're carrying it home. It stops them from um, uh, uh, screwing it up, basically. Um, we need some sticky tape. There we go. And another piece there. And to make the frame for the swing, we're going to use uh, bendy straws, plastic bendy straws. And we pull, pull out the bendy part of the straw and bend all the ends over. For the swing we're going to use the whole straw and it's the bendy part that has to be stuck down onto these four marks here. And uh, it has to be the right way round. It goes that way round, not that way round. And uh, I have to keep a close eye on the children when they're doing this because inevitably some of them stick them on the wrong way round. So there we go, that one's there. And then the one opposite faces that way. And a piece of sticky tape. Just using sticky tape is a motor skill all in itself. There we go. And now we do the same the other side. Some more sticky tape. That one goes, let's check, yep, there we go, it goes that way round. Stick that one on, and finally stick the last bendy straw on. Okay, there we are. And we're now going to link these two pairs of straws together. We're going to join these two together and these two together using um, a piece of pipe cleaner. I cut these up into small pieces. Just for fun, I've got a silly name for them, I call them caterpillars. And we bend the caterpillar into a letter V. And we use that to join the two bendy straws together at the top. And we formed a, a triangle shape. And um, I emphasise when I'm working with the children that a triangle is a strong shape. If you're going to make a structure, try and build in some triangle shapes. And the same the other side, another piece of pipe cleaner and join those two together. There we are. Um, we now need to add a piece to go across the top to stop them uh, waggling that way. So we need another piece of bendy straw. We're not going to use the bendy part. Uh, we need to cut it a piece about that big. That looks about right. And to link that we need two more caterpillars. This time we're going to bend it into an L shape and there's just room to slide that down next to the caterpillar that's already there and now we can use that to link across. So we've now got a surprisingly strong shape to hang our swing from. To make the swing swing we're going to use another kind of straw called a jumbo straw. Now conveniently um, bendy straws fit inside jumbo straws. So we need to cut a piece a little bit shorter than the piece that goes across the top. Temporarily pull one end out, slide it on and push it back in again and now we've got a nice moving section to hang the swing from. Um, to make the swing we need uh, two longer caterpillars. Bend them into a hook like that, hook it over and then very gently push it together but try not to squash the straw, make sure that the, the jumbo straw can still turn. Do the same for the other one, bend it into a hook shape, hook it on and then just very gently close the hook and check that it still swings. To make the seat we need um, two, two more uh, piece of the straw. This time this is art straw, paper art straw. And we're going to 
slide these on like this quite fiddly there we go try and get them the same length and to make the seat itself we're going to use a um, little piece of corex this is 3mm corex we're going to exploit the fact that it's got holes running through it so I'm going to push um, another caterpillar, slightly longer caterpillar than the ones we use for joiners and then bend up the ends like that and then that can be pushed on to the ends of the art straw might need a little bit of adjusting to get the seat level and check that the swing is swinging really well, that's swinging really well finally I'm going to choose flip or flop, I think I'm going to choose flop you can fold her legs and then fold her knees to make a sitting shape. Get some sticky tape. Put some sticky tape in a loop. Carefully put it on the seat. And sit flop onto the seat like that. There we are, she's comfortable. And if you've made a good job of your swing, you should be able to blow it backwards and forwards. That's, very, that's working really nicely and if we wanted to we could stick um, flip behind as though flip was pushing flop. So that's my um, uh, simple swing that I uh, make with year one classes. Well, Flip and Flop might get um, board playing on their swing, so uh, let's make them another uh, piece of playground equipment. Let's make them a seesaw. First thing we do um, is to stick the base down onto a piece of uh, cardboard. Um, I used to just use this fin card, but I noticed that as the children were carrying their uh, uh, seesaws uh, and swings home, that they were, they were tending to bend them like this and uh, destroying them. So let's stick it to a piece of card. And to make the frame for the seesaw, we're going to use uh, these plastic bendy straws. If you can't find them yourself, they're available from my supply service. Pull the bendy bit out and bend them over. And then we're going to cut these um, shorter. They all need to be the same. We just push down so that all the ends are aligned. And then we're going to cut this non-bendy part roughly in half. Not, not doesn't matter exactly where you cut it as long as they're all the same. I usually, to be honest, um, I, I do that for the four children when I'm working with year one classes. Something that they can do is to stick down their bendy straws and they have to remember to stick down the short part that's bent over. That's the bit that's stuck down onto the base and they must go that way round, not that way round. So I have to watch them very carefully. It's always helpful to have one or two teaching assistants on hand as well when working with a whole class of 30. So we get these four stuck down. So that's the part we stick down and it goes that way, not that way. There we go. Make sure it lines up on the marks. And some more sellotape. That's the bendy part. Oh, I forgot to write my name on it. There we go. And the last bendy straw goes that way round. And it goes without saying that it takes uh, year one considerably longer to do that first step. Next we're going to um, link these together to make a triangle shape um, to make it much stronger. Uh, we're going to join these two together and these two together. And to do that we're going to use pieces of pipe cleaner. Uh, you need a piece about this big. Um, just for fun I call these caterpillars. And we bend the caterpillar into um, a V shape and push the V down into the two bendy straws like that to make a, a triangle shape. We get another caterpillar, bend it into a V shape, and 
slide that one in. Next thing we're going to do is to stop them from wobbling that way we're going to put a cross piece in and I think we should be able to use one of the pieces that we cut off I think that's just about the right size and to do this we need to bend two more caterpillars not into a V shape this time but into a corner shape and there's just room to slide that L down next to the piece of pipe pinner that's already there there's another L shape and slide that one I can persuade it there it goes down into there and now we can link those two together with the piece of bendy straw so that's now a nice strong shape and when I'm working with year one I emphasize um, the fact that uh, a triangle is a, is a very strong shape next we're going to um, add the crucial part that actually going to make the seesaw work and we're going to use another kind of straw, it's called a jumbo straw and conveniently bendy straws slide inside uh, jumbo straws nicely so we're going to exploit that and we need a piece of jumbo straw a little bit shorter than the piece that goes across so we'll just cut a piece a bit shorter temporarily pull one end out slide the jumbo straw in and push it back in again and we've now got a nice sliding tube. We're now going to fix the board of the seesaw onto that piece of jumbo straw with another piece of sticky tape and the way I do it is to put the sticky tape underneath the jumbo straw, sticky side upwards and then position the board on top, try to get it in the middle, don't worry if it's not quite in the middle and then push the solid tape up from underneath and we've now got a nice free running seesaw. Now we could bend Flip and Flop's legs and stick them down but that could be a bit dangerous so let's give them um, a grab bar, a safety handle to hold on to. Uh, to make that we're going to use another piece of free milled Corix and we're going to stick this down a little way down the seesaw and leave some space at the end for Flip and Flop to sit on. I'm going to exploit the fact that this Corex has got holes running through it so the flutes are running this way and we stick another piece of Corex down near the other end and for the handles we're going to use two uh, longer pieces of pipe cleaner they, are, they can be pushed into the hole on one side, bent round and pushed into one of the holes on the other side there's one handle and then the same the other end Are. There's our two handles, and finally to fix flip and flop onto their seesaw, we can get some filler tape. Learn how to double tape, just loop it round in a loop, and then stick it down, and then another piece the other end, round in a loop, and stick that down, and then we can stick flip at one end and flop at the other and then they can safely have a great time playing on their seesaw.